So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's class, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 12th and 13th of December 2022. So let's start with the class without any delay and let's talk about the very first question, which is about Pradhan Mantri Adi Adarsh Gram Yojana. So you have to consider these three statements about the scheme and you have to identify the correct statement. Now, first of all, you must be wondering that is it a new scheme? No, it is not a new scheme. It is being implemented by Ministry of Tribal Affairs since last year, which means it was launched last year. Then why we are discussing about it? Because again, a reply has been submitted by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs in the Parliament regarding this scheme. And that is why this scheme is important for our exam. Ke liye. All right. So let's talk about this scheme in detail. Remember, as the name says, it is Adi Adarsh Gram Yojana. Adarsh means what? Ideal. Right. The objective, therefore, of this scheme is to achieve integrated socio-economic development of selected villages. Right. And now these selected villages are those which have significant tribal population. Because you can relate it from here, like this scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Tribal Affairs, which means these villages where the government uh, is intended. Uh, towards the economic development, the social economic development must be those villages where there is a significant tribal population. All right. And it was launched in last year, 2021, up to the financial year 2026, that is up to 31st March 2026. We have to achieve the targets under this scheme. Ministry, I have already told you, this ministry is headed by Mr. Arjun Singh Munda. Arjun Munda and Arjun Munda's Lok Sabha constituency is Khunti in Jharkhand. Now coverage, as I told you that uh, under this scheme, the focus is on those villages which have more than, which have at least 50% tribal population and such villages are more than 36,000 in number. Exact number is 36,428 villages and across the country, 500 scheduled tribes will be covered. Right? Total kitni tribes cover hongi? 500 tribes cover ki jayengi across the country. Talking more about this scheme, so these are some of the important features. So what will happen under this? How this socio-economic development will be ensured through village development plans. So the implementing agencies will prepare a village development plan based on the needs, potential and aspirants and aspirations of the population of those villages. It also includes maximizing the coverage of individual or family benefit scheme of the central or the respective state government village hoga. Whatever schemes, whatever welfare schemes are there for the tribal people will be provided to the beneficiaries, right? And it also seeks and improving the infrastructure in vital sectors like education, like health, like digital infrastructure as well. All right. And the scheme is focused on these eight sectors. Now, if you can remember these eight sectors, it would be good for you because these days uh, questions are very so you never know. So these are the eight sectors which are road connectivity, telecom, school, anganwadi centers, health sub center, drinking water facility, drainage and solid waste management. So almost every aspect of life is covered and sare aspect ke upar focus kiya jayega under this scheme, right? So that is all about this scheme and now let's come back to the question. You have to identify the correct statement. It is being implemented by Ministry of Rural Development. So there can be a confusion between Ministry of Rural Development and Ministry of Tribal Affairs because there is a word Gram here. Okay? But please remember this, this scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Tribal Affairs and not the Ministry of Rural Development. All right. So this statement is incorrect. The scheme was launched in 2020. Is that so? No. It was launched in the year 2021, the last year. And it is focused on eight sectors is the correct statement, which means option E. Only three will be the correct answer. And today also guys, session is a little long because we all know that uh, parliament session is going and yes, there are two things in this. Funding, funding is going to be done. Let's complete that. Funding, if we talk about funding, so rupees 20.38 lakh per village has been provisioned as gap filling for approved activities. Now, what is the meaning of gap filling? So, let's say for example, uh, there is a scheme, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadaq Yojana, right, which is being, which is already implemented in a village in a village which has been selected under Pradhan Mantri Adi Adash Gram Yojana, right? Now, under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, maan lete hai ki 
there is a provision of 30 kilometers of road construction in this village but the overall requirement is 35 kilometer right so for this extra 5 kilometer this 20 point uh, the fund from this 20.38 lakh will be used all right similarly it will be for pradhan mantri avas yojana similarly it will be for pm shri schools and other social uh, sector scheme right and other than this states and uts are encouraged for convergence of resources which means the convergence of already implementing schemes you already schemes implement ki ja rahe hain by states and center unko converge karke implement kar denge in these villages for ensuring the social economic development all right i hope this is clear let's talk about question number 2 then the 8th edition of india international science festival will take place in bhopal in madhya pradesh next month which union ministry or ministries organizes this event in association with vijnan bharti right so this was this will be the eighth edition of india international science festival the very first edition took place in the year 2015 in new delhi right and in fact the second edition was also held in new delhi now this eighth edition why this india international science festival what is the objective so the objective is to celebrate achievement of india's scientific and technological advancement <coughs> then to engage the public with science and celebrate the joy of innovation and science and to showcase the ways how science technology engineering and mathematics provide us with the solutions to improve our lives so for all with all these objectives india international science festival will take place in bhopal in madhya pradesh it will be organized by ministry of science and technology headed by dr jitendra singh and ministry of earth sciences again headed by him only in association with vijnan bharti the very first event took place in the year 2015 in new delhi first and second were held in new delhi third in chennai fourth in lucknow fifth in kolkata sixth was in virtual mode and the last one was in goa the seventh one all right <coughs> so now come back to the question so which ministries are these these are ministry of science and technology and ministry of earth sciences which means option d will be the correct answer moving ahead to question number 3 consider the following statements with respect to dare to dream scheme and you have to identify the incorrect statement now again this is not a new scheme a reply has been submitted by minister of defense uh, with respect to this scheme and that is why we are discussing it so dare to De dream scheme what is the objective the objective is to bring together the innovators the entrepreneurs the the the, the people with new ideas who are above 18 years right and already established startups for innovative ideas in the field of defense and aerospace right <coughs> sorry that is the objective <coughs> to bring together innovators entrepreneurs and individuals who are above 18 years and startups already established startups uh, uh, for innovative ideas in the field of defense and aerospace and now when we are talking about defense and aerospace which, which signifies that the ministry is the ministry of defense right remember the scheme was launched in the year 2019 now what happens under the scheme <coughs> <coughs> that dare to dream contests are held every year for selecting innovative ideas har saal dare to dream contest hote hain usme se innovative ideas ko select kiya jata hai and these innovative ideas are being provided support or financial support you can say from DRD, DRDO to realize their ideas into prototype through technology development fund scheme. So there is another scheme of Ministry of Defense which is technology development fund scheme which provides funding to the startups or the innovative ideas which are working in the field of defense and aerospace. All right, And it is clear now that this scheme is being implemented by Defense Research and Development Organization, in short, DRDO. All right. <coughs> so now let's identify the incorrect statement. It was launched in 2019. This is correct. It is being implemented by ISRO. No, it is being implemented by DRDO, which means the correct answer is option B, right? Because we have to identify the incorrect statement. All right. Let's talk about question number four. Where was India Internet Governance Forum 2022 held with the theme Leveraging Tech Aid for Empowering Bharat? 
Now, <clears throat> this India Internet Governance Forum 2022 took place in New Delhi to discuss the policy issues related to the internet. Right? That was the objective to discuss the roadmap to digitization and to reaffirm ideas, India's place on the global stage in, in international policy development on <coughs> internet governance. Right? Now remember, India Internet Governance Forum is a part of, is associated with United Nations Internet Governance Forum. Right? United Nations Internet Governance Forum. And now this United Nations Internet Governance Forum, what is it? It is a platform which provide, it is, it basically provides a platform to the stakeholders for discussing the policy issues, for discussing the policy issues related to internet, right, related to internet. It was established in the year 2006. It was established in the year 2006 with the first meeting also took place in the year 2006 in Athens. And where is Athens? In Greece. In India, there is only there. Uh, there has been only one meeting of United Nations Internet Governance Forum, and that was in the year 2008. And in 2008, it took place in Hyderabad. <coughs> and this year's 2022, 2022 United Nations Internet Governance Forum meeting took place in Ethiopia. Alright, so these are some of the basic information about UNIGF and of course the theme for the year 2022 for India Internet Governance Forum was leveraging ticket for empowering Bharat. Alright, <coughs> so it took place in New Delhi, option E is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number 5, very very important question, consider the following statements with respect to environment education awareness and training scheme and identify the correct statement. Now I am saying it as an important question because generally this scheme, wali jo scheme hai, news mein nahi rehti hai, and that is why it becomes important. So let's talk about it. Remember it is in news because environment education, awareness and training which in short is EAT. This scheme has now been revamped into environment education program. Right, environment education program ke form mein isko revamp kar diya gaya hai in this financial year only 22-23. Now the objective of this scheme as the name says it all environment education and awareness and training which is now of course environment education program so to create awareness about uh, uh, environment by providing environment education that is the objective of the scheme and to mobilize student participation for environment conservation right the scheme was launched <coughs> in the year 1983 scheme hai hai, all right but the launch year will remain 1983 only. So please don't get confused. And of course, ministry is the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Environment, Forest and Climate Change, which is headed by Mr. Bhupendra Yadav. And now there are two sub programs under this environment education program, which is number one, National Green Corp program, National Green Crow. Now under this program, uh, what is happening is that more than 1 lakh eco clubs have been established across the schools and colleges in the country to spread awareness on environmental issues, right? More than 1 lakh eco clubs have been established across the uh, country in schools and colleges to spread awareness on environmental issues. Now, these eco clubs are provided with a financial assistance of rupees 5000 per eco club. Uh, with a ceiling of 500 school eco clubs per district and 100 eco uh, 100 college eco clubs per state. मतलब एक state में 100 colleges में eco clubs को पैसा दिया जाएगा and in one district 500 schools will be uh, funded under this eco club, right? And the activities include <coughs> plantation drive, cleanliness drive, awareness, capacity building on solid waste generation. Right, and how we can reduce the waste generation, etc., etc., are being taken place uh, in this under this program. And then there is a sub program, second sub program also, which is National Nature Camping Program. Under this program, what happens? Field visits and nature camps are being organized in different protected areas like uh, national park, wildlife sanctuaries, tiger reserves of the country for students. Right, this is also for the students. These camps provide nature experience to the students and it makes them aware of the environment, right? And wildlife also. 
एंड इसमें फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस नॉट एक्सीड इन रुपीज टू थाउजेंड पर स्टूडेंट इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर अ कैंप ऑफ टू नाइट्स एंड थ्री डेज विद अ सीलिंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी कैंप पर स्टेट और यूटी एक स्टेट और यूटी में कितने कैंप होंगे मैक्सिमम ट्वेंटी एंड हाउ मच अमाउंट पर स्टूडेंट इज प्रोवाइडेड दैट्स रुपीज टू थाउजेंड राइट so that is all and now let's come back to the question you have to identify the correct statement the scheme has been revamped in 21 22 no it has been revamped in this financial year that is 22 23 incorrect it was launched in 1975 no 1983 and under national green core sub program financial assistance of 2000 per eco club is provided no Under this program, financial assistance of rupees five thousand per eco club is provided, not two thousand. Right, two thousand is provided per student for camping. Right, so third is also incorrect, which means option D, none is correct, will be the correct answer. <coughs> I hope this is also clear. Let's talk about question number six. NMCG National Mission for Clean Ganga has launched a project on capacity building program for leveraging community and local resources. based on technology under earth ganga it is being jointly implemented by nmcg and himalayan environmental studies and conservation organization which is hisco in four ganga basin states which are these states kaun se char states hai uski aapko baat karni hai so remember it was national mission for clean ganga which has launched this capacity building program for leveraging community and local resources based on technology so as the name suggest this uh, capacity building program was to uh, you know was for upliftment of the communities which are living uh, along the river ganga right to empower ganga basins local communities by working towards their economic upliftment through ecological perception so as i told you economic upliftment of the local communities which are living along the river ganga that was the objective right and ऑब्जेक्टिव मैंने आपको बता दिया इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसी एनएमसीजी एंड हेस्को जो ऑलरेडी क्वेश्चन में ही मेंशन था इट एनवाइस एस्टैब्लिशिंग अर्थ गंगा सेंटर्स राइट अर्थ गंगा सेंटर्स विल बी एस्टैब्लिश्ड एंड थ्री गंगा रिसोर्स सेंटर्स विल आल्सो बी एस्टैब्लिश्ड राइट लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजीज विल बी सोर्स एंड डिसेमिनेटेड फॉर इकोनॉमिक अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ द लोकल कम्युनिटी एंड दीज आर द फोर स्टेट्स वेयर इट विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड उत्तराखंड उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार एंड झारखंड राइट उत्तराखंड उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार एंड झारखंड राइट नॉट वेस्ट बंगाल प्लीज डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट अर्थ गंगा व्हाट इज दिस अर्थ गंगा अर्थ मींस मनी राइट सो एंड गंगा ऑफ कोर्स वी ऑल नो सो इट इज समवर्ड रिलेटेड टू इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स ऑफ गंगा राइट एंड ये वही है इट वाज इट्स कांसेप्ट ऑफ अस फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ड्यूरिंग फर्स्ट नेशनल गंगा काउंसिल व्हिच टुक प्लेस इन कानपुर इन द ईयर 2019 नाउ व्हाट इज दिस कांसेप्ट बेसिकली its central idea is linking people and ganga through the bridge of economics in line with the slogan of banking on river ganga right so basically to leverage the economic benefits of river ganga this program this initiative is being implemented all right implementing agency is ki national mission for clean ganga hai and the target is that it will contribute at least 3% of the gdp right the economic benefits of ganga jo ki bahut hi ambitious target hai i believe and this earth ganga initiative works uh, on the basis of six verticals zero budget natural farming monetization and reuse of sludge and waste water livelihood generation opportunities public participation to increase synergies between stakeholders cultural heritage and tourism and institutional building for better decentralized water governance now you don't have to remember these six verticals that is not important <coughs> just remember that this initiative is working on six verticals and the idea of this uh, initiative right and when it was launched that's it so now let's come back to the question so which are these states these are uttarakhand jharkhand bihar and uttar pradesh which means 1 2 4 and 5 option d again will be the correct answer 1 2 4 and 5 all right let's talk about question number 7 then Which tool was launched by Bureau of Energy Efficiency and Small Industries Development Bank of India (SIDB) for faster adoption of uh, energy efficiency projects in MSME sector? Now remember, Bureau of Energy Efficiency is an autonomous organization established in the year 2002 under Energy Conservation Act of 
right its headquarters are located in new delhi and of course we all know about sidbi head sidbi is headquartered in lucknow and mr s raman is the current chairperson of sidbi s raman all right <coughs> now let's come back to this question so bureau of energy efficiency under ministry of power has organized the national uh, conclave on accelerating energy efficiency in msmes right and it was organized as the name suggests naam se clear hai so why padne ki i think zarurat bhi nahi hai for pooling knowledge and synergizing the efforts made by various stakeholders to promote energy efficiency in the msme sector now during the event this is important during the event and a tool was launched right and that tool is named as what unnati unnati stands for unified navigation tool on energy efficiency right unified navigation tool on energy efficiency the objective behind launching this tool is is to is for faster adoption of energy efficiency projects in msme sector राइट जो एमएसएमई सेक्टर है वहां पे जल्दी से जल्दी एनर्जी एफिशिएंट एनर्जी एफिशिएंट प्रोजेक्ट्स को अप्रूव किया जाए अडॉप्ट किया जाए दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस टूल एंड इट हैज बीन जॉइंटली डेवलप्ड बाय ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी एंड सिडबी राइट एंड रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट ड्यूरिंग दिस कॉन्क्लेव अ प्रोजेक्ट वाज डिस्कस्ड व्हिच इज जीईएफ यूनिडो बीईई प्रोजेक्ट जीईएफ इज ग्लोबल एनवायरमेंट फैसिलिटी it is what global environment facility global environment facility what is this global environment facility so first of all remember it was established ahead of 1992 <coughs> rio earth summit 1992 ka jo rio earth summit hua tha usse pehle hi isko establish kiya gaya tha and it is basically a fund which provides funding to the viable projects which are working uh, or you can say viable projects in the area of biodiversity climate change land, uh, land degradation etc right and the secretariat is located in washington dc bee is bureau of energy efficiency now unido is united nation industrial development organization united nation industrial development organization and this unido provides support to the countries for their industrial development right it is headquartered in vienna Vienna may headquartered which is of course is in Austria right and uh, yeah it was established in the year 1966 1966 mein isko establish kiya gaya tha right so there is a project combined project of these three organization the objective of this project is to develop and promote a market environment for introducing energy efficiency so basically a market will be developed where energy efficiencies can be promoted and enhance the use of renewable energy technologies to promote the renewable energy across the world across the countries in process application and selected intensive msme sector and this project is majorly focused is majorly focused on msme sector right this project was launched in the year 2011 the implementing agencies of course are three gef unido and bee and the supporting ministries from india our ministry of new and renewable energy and ministry of power all right so now let's come back to the question so which tool was launched so it was unnati tool option e is the correct answer question number 8 pe aa jate hain okay question number 8 se pehle ab question in short hai ab yahan se jitne bhi questions hai these questions do not uh, require any डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन ठीक है वो क्वेश्चन में ही सारी चीज अवेलेबल होंगी एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन फॉलो मी हियर ऑल राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट द नेशनल काउंसिल फॉर होटल मैनेजमेंट एंड केटरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी रिसेंटली एनवील्ड अ पोर्टल ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड स्टडीज मटीरियल this will help to augment the online availability of study resources for further improving education training and other research activities under which ministry does nch mct function kaun si ministry ke under ye kaam karta hai so remember it works under the ministry of tourism it was established in the year 1982 and it is located in noida which is in gautam budh nagar district of uttar pradesh all right so therefore the correct answer is option d ministry of tourism
हाउ मच एफ डी आई इज अलाउड अंडर ऑटोमेटिक रूट फॉर सेल ऑफ कोल कोल माइनिंग एक्टिविटीज इंक्लूडिंग एसोसिएटेड प्रोसेसिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सब्जेक्ट एज पर रिव्यूड एफ डी आई पॉलिसी इन द कोल माइनिंग नोटिफाइड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन परसेंटेज ऑफ एफ डी आई पूछा है द करेक्ट आंसर इज अगेन ऑप्शन ई हंड्रेड परसेंट यूनियन गवर्नमेंट हैज एस्टैब्लिश टू डिफेंस इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर टू अचीव आत्मनिर्भरता एंड रियलाइज द गोल ऑफ मेक इन इंडिया इन विच स्टेट दीज डी आई सीज आर लोकेटेड वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन तो दीज डी आई सीज आर लोकेटेड इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड तमिलनाडु एंड इन उत्तर प्रदेश ये उत्तर प्रदेश वाला डी आई सी है देर आर सिक्स नोट इन इट सिक्स नोट ऑफ डिफेंस इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर ऑफ यूपी आर आगरा अलीगढ़ देन वी हैव चित्रकूट झांसी कानपुर एंड लखनऊ राइट सो दीज आर दिक्स नोट ऑफ यूपीज डी आई सी नाउ देर मस्ट बी सम नोट इन तमिलनाडु डी आई सी एज वेल येस देर आर फाइव दीज आर चेन्नई कोयम्बटोर चेन्नई कोयम्बटोर होसूर तलेन एंड तिरुचिरापल्ली विच इन शॉर्ट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज त्रिची राइट सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज वन एंड फोर वन एंड फोर ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग अहेड इन द इयर ट्वेंटी एटीन नाइनटीन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन विच इज करेंटली हेडेड बाय मिस्टर धर्मेंद्र प्रधान लॉन्च समग्र शिक्षा एन इंटीग्रेटेड स्कीम फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन कवरिंग चिल्ड्रन विद स्पेशल नीड्स फ्रॉम क्लासेस फर्स्ट टू ट्वेल्थ सो बेसिकली द्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द समग्र शिक्षा नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू डू इन द एग्जामिनेशन वेन यू नो दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट समग्र शिक्षा और समथिंग रिलेटेड टू इट यू शुड जम्प टू द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन टू सेव योर टाइम और राइट सो वट इज द लास्ट लाइन विच सेक्शन ऑफ आर टी ई एक्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइन राइट टू एजुकेशन एक्ट डील्स विद एलिमेंट्री एजुकेशन ऑफ ऑल डिफरेंटली एबल चिल्ड्रन सो फॉर ऑल डिफरेंटली एबल चिल्ड्रन देर इज अ प्रोविजन इन राइट टू एजुकेशन अंडर सेक्शन थ्री टू राइट अंडर सेक्शन थ्री सब सेक्शन टू में इसके बारे में प्रोविजन है सो देर फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज हैज नोटिफाइड द प्लास्टिक वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट अमेंडमेंट रूल टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन under which the the single use plastic has now been banned from 1st of july 2022 the question is under which act these rules have been notified very easy question agar aapke dimag mein confusion nahi hai so you can easily answer this question the correct answer is environment protection act of 1986 okay 13th aa jate to increase the forest cover in the country now this question is based on a scheme <coughs> तो लेट्स सी कि आप ऐसे कितने लोग इसका आंसर कर सकते हैं टू इंक्रीज द फॉरेस्ट कवर इन दी कंट्री अफोरेस्टेशन प्रोग्राम्स आर बीइंग टेकन अप अंडर वेरियस सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम्स ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज सच एज नेशनल मिशन फॉर ग्रीन इंडिया विच इन शॉर्ट इज ग्रीन इंडिया मिशन विच इन अदर वर्ड्स इज ग्रीन इंडिया मिशन एज वेल ग्रीन इंडिया मिशन एंड दैट्स वाई दिस फुल फॉर्म दिस शॉर्ट फॉर्म जिम राइट The question is very basic. When was this uh, scheme launched? So remember, this scheme was launched in the year two thousand and fourteen. Option A is the correct answer. Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change again is implementing Nagar Van Yojana since twenty twenty. This we have discussed a lot of times, but let's discuss it once again. Nagar Van Yojana. What is this Yojana? By the way, so the urban forests are being developed under this scheme, right? For developing 400 Nagar Vans urban forest and 200 Nagar Vatikas urban gardens in the country, right? It aims to significantly enhance the tree and green cover outside forest, enhance biodiversity, and ecological benefits to the urban and peri-urban areas. Apart from improving quality of life of city dwellers, the question is, what is the implementation period of this scheme? So very easy question. The implementation period is. 2021 to 2024 25 that is up to up to 31st march 2025 okay when was sahi fasal campaign launched by national water mission to nudge farmers in the water stressed areas to grow crops which are not water intensive but use water very efficiently and are economically remunerative 
healthy and nutritious are environmental friendly suited to the agro climatic hydro characteristics of the area so itni badi badi baatein hai question sirf itna hi hai ki when was this campaign launched that's it right so it was launched in the year 2019 option d is the correct answer namami gange program was launched in june 2014 we all know this for a period up to 31st march 2021 but now it has been extended and up to when it has been extended the question is this only it has been extended up to the 15th financial period which will end on 31st march of 2026 and that is the correct answer to this question option e question number 17 is quite interesting employment and <coughs> retrenchment including layoffs are a regular phenomenon in industrial establishments which act governs matters relating to layoff and retrenchment in industrial establishment so which act regulates these things so this is industrial disputes act of 1947 option b is the correct answer and the last question for today with which paramilitary force kvic <coughs> has signed an mou to supply high quality kachi gani mustard oil now since it is kvic and that is why i have taken this question this paramilitary force in question is assam rifles option e is the correct answer all right so guys that's it for today's session i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear and i'm really very sorry for the regular cuffs between the session thoda sa gala kharab hai i'm really sorry for that please ignore it and try to concentrate on the content main nahi chahta ki koi bhi class miss ho uh, jab tak main kara pa raha hu tab tak main zarur karaunga unless ki mera gala bilkul hi worst ho jata hai so yeah i'll see you in the next session till then keep studying and keep studying hard goodbye take care and god bless